Hey guys, Jennifer here. I'm back to share um, one more junk journal entry friendship journal challenge. Um, this one is going to Gina at the Firefly Studio 67 on YouTube. Um, Gina has been an inspiration to me with junk journaling. Um, she inspires me every time I see a new video come out. Her journals are beautiful. Maybe someday I'll own one. Um, in any case, um, I wanted to come on and just show my entry real quick before I send it off. Um, I know she loves purples and bees, so I tried to theme everything around that. And I know I'm going to forget the person who I just saw do this, so I will link a dis uh, who it was in the description box below that I saw do this. Um, but in any case, she had done these cute little trio of envelopes. Sorry, guys, my cat's decided to make her presents. Um, cute little trio of envelopes here and used some stamps to decorate them up and then added some little... Um, fussy cut flowers and words on it and a little saying up here with a uh, seam binding bow and I stuffed the pockets with some different ephemera so in this one just have some cute little things and I don't know if you can see that but I um, stickled and sparkled up the flowers on there so that's what's in that one and then this one here has a little music paper and another little card and this one has, sorry, oh lord, she never wants my attention until I'm videoing, I swear. This one has a cute little postcard and another little card there. And like on the back of this one, I stamped a little B, so I thought that was cute. And so those just go in there in different directions so that you can see them. So that's the front, and um, the paper I used in the background was some different papers from Antique Papery, and I layered up a doily here and here. Um, so that was it on there. And then it flips open, and I have an altered envelope here that I used some more Antique Papery, and then I added this to it. There was a B under it, but I liked the way this looked better. Um, and then up top here I have a tag that pulls out, and so that has um, just some seam binding up here that went with it, and um, I added some stickle, stickles glitter to it just to give it some sparkle. And that one I stenciled on the back. I don't know if you can see, there's a very light um, beehive pattern, and then the roses. And this flips over, and on this back side, there's one of the Tim Holtz pockets. And in here, I have layered in uh, three different little tags. And what I did was I went through and I put glitter on all the bees' wings. So I thought that was cute. And I put a um, wax seal here with a rose and the pink and the teal that she likes. And then here I created a pocket and I stitched around this. This is an antique papery. Um, this cutout, this B, and these little tags here, this third one here, are all from, uh, I know I'm going to mess this up because I never get it right, but I think it's called Irilojima's Shop on Etsy. Again, I'll put a link in the description box. Um, these, this pocket here also has tags in it, and this is also on that same sheet from her shop. And then this is from Antique Papery, and I just um, did some stenciling and stamping on the back of that, and I sewed it onto co either coffee or tea dyed paper, I can't remember which. Um, and I used that trim from Hobby Lobby here with a little bit of lace underneath it. Um, so that is that. And then over here, I'm sorry, now my dog's barking. Um, I altered a time ticket, and I had this little um, tag in my stash with a piece of lace and um, this little fussy cut flower, and then I found a little bee charm to hang off there. And there's lace and trim here, and this is antique papery here. And this lifts up, and so she can do journaling here and here. And then I did stenciling on the back of that. So that goes in that pocket here, which I had to use it because it had the bee there. That's also an antique papery. And then I have some sari silk that I sewed on the sewing machine there. And then this flips over one more time. And this is 
Kool-Aid dyed paper that I did on a special tray with these little dots on it. Um, this is some Prima uh, washi tape. And then I did stenciling here and here. And that's from that cut out on Etsy. This one also. And I had these cute little hearts with pressed flowers on them. And they were purple. So I added those. And then the back um, I sewed on an antique papery also. So that is my entry for Gina's challenge. I hope she loves it. hope it makes it there on time. Um, so I am off to the post office. And I will be back again soon. Take care.